So here we go, Kim, week two of Line Talkers Radio. I hope you had a good week. Uh, you and I talked a couple times, told me you got some fire stuff going on already. Yeah, well, I mean, it is the season, right? <laughs> We're barely kicking off summer in California, and we already have fires starting off, but that's okay. We're ready. We have this going on until October, so every year it's the same story. This one, uh, this one you said right up the road, pretty close by. Right up the road, yeah, yeah, but the fire guys, they hopped on it real quick and got it under control, so it's not a threat, really. It's just them maintaining it and keeping it down so it doesn't flare back up, and God willing, we won't have any more big winds, and they will be able to continue to do their job safely and keep the rest of us safe. Good deal. I I did not, I was not aware of the work that CAL FIRE did until I moved to California. And then when I was there, I realized how big an operation, how professional Cal Fire was and strategic and how they planned. I mean, it's like the the, the whole entire uh, incident command system, I don't know if you knew this or not, you probably did, Is was it came from the fires in California. Like everything everybody else does across the country hmm. with FEMA is based on how well Cal Fire and the fire departments in California have all got on the same page when they have an incident. No, I did not know that. That's interesting. I'm full of knowledge. I don't know if you knew that or <laughs> useless not. Useless so. knowledge. Useless <laughs> knowledge. So, but, so I know last year, last fall, you and I talked about PSPS, the, was it public safety power shutoff? Is that right? Yep. Are they, are, have they started talking about that yet or yep. no? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, it's been floating around. We've already had a couple of days that we've been uh, at or above 100 degrees, but they haven't As far as I know, they haven't issued any so far, but they're coming. Our hot weather doesn't usually start until mid-July, and then it continues into September. So, To contradict one thing you just said, you said your hot weather don't start till July. I saw Mm -hmm. in the Central Valley, it was like 104 or 102 or something a couple weeks ago. So I'm not really sure what you're considering hot. It's a a dry heat, is what you California (laughs) people say. So whatever. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it was hot, but for us, like, at least for me personally, it, when it's like miserably hot is when it's like a hundred plus for several days in a row. And then our evenings don't cool off. Like we stay like at 90 at 2 AM, you know, that's when it gets real miserable. So we'll see, hopefully it won't be too hot this year. I'll cross my fingers. Yeah. I remember when I was in Fresno at, at, at the company there, and we ordered these tablets for some of the crews and they couldn't leave them in their trucks <laughs> during the daytime or at night because it got so hot it would that would damage the components in the computer who who knew yeah oh yeah i just like that's that's nuts yep that happens here so what what's the deal uh, i mean how are you guys i mean i guess i'll tell you first so as far as the coronavirus and everything here in florida things are getting back to normal somewhat Uh, I think restaurants are 50 to 75 percent capacity. I actually went to Chipotle yesterday. They had half the tables marked off. It was kind of weird going in and sitting there. In the restaurant, I did. did. Yeah, yeah, we did. We usually eat in. We ate in the restaurant, which was weird feeling because you know we haven't done Mm -hmm. that in a while. Uh, For those of my friends who listen and know, Jessica is a vegan, so there's usually not a crowd in any of the restaurants we go in. Anyway, they're usually (laughs) empty, so (laughs) usually have to wait. (laughs) <laughs> but it just felt, it does feel a little weird. Everybody has mask on. Uh, a week ago, we went to a uh, Blaze Pizza. I think there's one mm-hmm. close to you guys out there. It's yeah, like there a is. Subway type. Mm-hmm. It's like Chipotle, Chipotle for a pizza. Yeah. And I did not have a mask on. We don't have to wear a mask in public if we don't want to. And of course, I have. I've opted to a couple places where I felt like I needed to. Maybe I should everywhere. But and uh, I got too close to the glass and got yelled at that I needed to back up, step back from the glass. That's so crazy. I, I, and I, yeah, and I, I don't know. I'll be so glad when things get back to normal. I, um, as I've mentioned almost on every episode, we live so close to Disney, and it's just so depressing. Sixty thousand people out of work, no fireworks mm-hmm. at night. It's just mm-hmm. like it's so different here. So, what, what about you guys? How are you guys? Uh, is there stuff opening in California uh, or no? Yeah, slowly but surely things are opening. A lot of businesses, just like CVS or Save Mart, Vons, et cetera, they 
prefer that you wear masks. They have signs stating that it is the law that you're supposed to wear a mask in order to be able to shop in the store. But when I go in, I see other people who are not wearing masks. I see people who are masked up. I don't know. I just feel like everyone is feeling the same way that you are, like you stated, that we just want our normal back and hoping that uh, this gets uh, handled pretty quick and they can get some sort of inoculation going that keeps us all safe or move forward and everyone just ends up getting herd immunity. I don't know. It's hard to talk about because I have certain stances <laughs> I don't want to express. Yeah, I think you and I both. And, and you need to well, edit that. <laughs> you know I won't. So, uh, I, you know. You, yeah, you need to. <laughs> I, I have, the, you and I are on the same page. Jessica and I have, we've had a lot of conversations here lately that I would not have outside the home because mainly I, I don't, uh, a lot of people that know me, this probably would disagree with this, but I don't like controversy uh, on, on stuff that nobody's ever going to be, feel like they're wrong. So there's no need to even go there. You know what I mean? I mean, there's Mm -hmm. no, but anyway, so Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw this or not, but I think I sent it to you. So I put a little survey on Instagram uh, for our listeners and followers on Instagram. So I asked the question, uh, have you tested positive for coronavirus? So 567 responded. 2% actually said yes, which was uh, about what I expected. Honestly. Yeah, I took that little test. You had some funny questions in there, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that one wasn't one of the ones you thought was funny, was it? No. Because <laughs> I know you got sort of a sick, twisted humor. No. Uh, so the second one, uh, do you know anyone personally who has tested positive for coronavirus? And actually a third of the people, another 500 plus responded, a third of the people said yes. Mm-hmm. I still don't know anybody. Mm. I, I don't. I don't know anybody. I don't know if I just... People that I know don't go to the doctor. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they don't tell me. I, hmm. I don't know. Do you know anybody? that has I tested do. Positive? I know a couple of people, as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, okay. So you were the ones, you were one of the yeses then. I was. Okay. <laughs> but so, we're not divulging if, that information. If, if <laughs> it you, was supposed to be an anonymous if you quiz. Answered, <laughs> but nobody said anything about it being anonymous. So <laughs> nothing's anonymous with me. So, and so you had a couple of people, you know, test a positive and you still don't wear a mask. That's very nice. Well, All right. So the next one, um, you have to, like, you cannot go into a doctor appointment without being asked a little questionnaire, you know, about where you've been, if you traveled, if you know anybody that has it, if you think you have it, blah, blah, how blah, many, and taking your but, temperature and then you have to mask up or you cannot go into the facility. No. I, and I understand that. And I know that people are going to answer this truthfully, but I, when I'm answering those questions at a doctor's office, I don't ever answer them truthfully. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, <laughs> probably you, read some you of those and questions? all of other people are doing the same thing. So I just said, uh, okay. So, um, has coronavirus affected your employment? A third of the people said, yes, it has. Mm-hmm. So, and that's, you know, most of our followers are in the business. So I know there's a couple people that, um, that I'm familiar with, uh, that I know through social media that work for contractors. Mm-hmm. Well, a matter of fact, uh, Ray Lynn, the, the, the line went, the lineman, the mm-hmm. lady that I interviewed a few weeks ago in Canada, you know, her company, I don't know if her company shut down or what happened, but she was at home with her parents. She had, she had shut mm-hmm. down. So I know a lot of the contract people, the contract labor is at home. It's very unfortunate uh, what it's done to the business and the economy. Yeah. But Well, and it, it depends yeah. on how you relate the question. Like, does it affect your work? Like, A, are you still working? So the answer would be no. But B, does it affect your work? Does your work making you take certain measures in order to continue to work? And so then the answer would be yes. So, you know, it all is up to interpretation, I guess. So basically what you're telling me is my question sucked, that it wasn't, (laughs) I really can't gain any knowledge from. Okay. So the next one, uh, another 500 respond uh, to this one. Uh, Do you think coronavirus risk has been over-exaggerated? 80% said yes, 20% said no. The twenty percent said no are probably the ones that have been affected. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, so mm-hmm. um, I'm glad I didn't have to take this survey, honestly. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I, you, you know what? I don't know if it has been or not. Who who knows? I do know that uh, I do feel compelled to wear a mask sometimes. I don't know whether it's uh, peer pressure when you go into a grocery store or you know I went to an auto parts store yesterday. Um, 
another whole completely story. I, I, t- I think I told you we were going to get up and go to the beach, and I had a dead battery mm-hmm. on the truck, and so I had to go to the auto parts store. And there's a sign on the outside of the store that says, you have to wear a mask to go in. So here I mm-hmm. am. I go I go get the battery because I took it out at the in the car at home and, or in the truck and carried it in. So I got my glasses on. I got my mask on. I'm fogging up my glasses. I can't see the door. I go inside. No one in the store when I walked in had a mask on. No one. Mm-hmm. But the sign on the door said you had to wear a mask. So, but, but anyway, all right. So 80% says, yes, it's over, it's over exaggerated. 20% say no. Would you think that falls along the line of what you, people you come in contact with? Oh, for sure. Or no? Yeah. I, but I, I, you know, I just feel like a lot of people are frustrated with how it's being conducted, how this whole thing has unfolded. And it's just, uh, a lot of people are probably answering that now differently than they probably did in the beginning, you know? So I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to give you my answer. Yeah. <laughs> you hear a lot Sorry. of help in this uh, conversation. <laughs> um, I feel sorry for your husband when he asks you where you want to go <laughs> eat because you're probably one of those. Um, all right. So uh, the next question was, uh, do you wear a mask in public? Another, again, another 500 plus responded. Um, yes, 28%. So a third of the 500 uh, say, yes, you wear a mask in public. And no, I know at work, if we cannot maintain social distancing, then we're required to wear a mask, which they have, the company has issued masks, they've issued hand sanitizer, PPE. I cannot be more thrilled with the way that the company that I work for has handled this because I can tell you uh, the safety of employee has been the, at the top. Um, so I know a lot of people that answer this question may have been talking more about personal life or uh, I don't know, work. I know they make FR masks for those in the trade, which, uh, man, they seem like uh, Jessica brought home these masks a few weeks ago that were like uh, felt or whatever, you know, like thick mask. And mm-hmm. it reminded me of when I went to switching a class at, in, in, at PG&E and in, I think I was in Madeira, and it was like one fifteen that day. And we had these uh, baklavas on. Uh, is that the way you say that word? Do you know? Is it baklava? Okay. I don't well, even ask know your what husband. That is. He will know what it is. <laughs> so it's this big, it's this big hood thing okay. that you put on when you're switching. It goes over your face, and it's fr. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay, so the big it was so <laughs> flipping yeah. hot. And when I had to put one on, I put one on a couple of weeks ago in the car because uh, I didn't know what it was, and I thought it would look cool for me to ride around with one on in the car and get criticized by myself. Uh, it's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, so I, I honestly, I feel for the guys in the mm-hmm. crew that are out in the field, the guys and gals. For sure. I mean, talk about yeah, being yeah. The men and women that, you know? that are in their PPE anyway, it's bad enough. You know, rubber gloves and uh, hard hat, mm-hmm. safety glasses and stuff in, in extreme weather is by no means is an excuse not to wear it. I just want to put that caveat out there because next thing you know, I'll get hate mail. But I, I, I'm just saying it's misery. Uh so I think that's uh, the last uh, question that was serious. So the, the next question, do you remember what the next question was? And I was scrolling through pictures that you and I talked to because I sent mm-hmm. you these pictures. And I just pulled up the picture of your patio on the water that you sent me yesterday. So I'm mm-hmm. just really jealous of that, by the <laughs> way. So it looks very nice. <laughs> so uh, the other, yeah, the other question was uh, that was really serious was, uh, do you like your in-laws? That was my mm-hmm. next question. Do you remember that yes, one? That was the first one that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you uh, clarified that, that that was the first one that made you laugh. So, um, and you know, what's funny is I don't have, I, I thought I, did I not send that one to you? No, you just sent me a select few and no show notes. So thanks again for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do, we do much better when we do show notes. So I'm going to pull uh-huh. up the, all right. So do you like your in-laws? 52% said yes. 48% said no. Another 500 uh, yep. people responded. So I thought that was good. And mm-hmm. then uh, I said, you know, and one more question. that's really good that it's anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause I would, it, well, it's not really because I can go back and pull people out and I could call people out <laughs> if I wanted to. But you would so, never do that to your oh, loyal man. listeners, would you? <laughs> uh my never. loyal listeners that I don't know, never, but my friends, absolutely in a minute. 